Hello vlog channel. You're probably thinking to yourself, where is the camping video that you promised us last week? Um, so we did go camping and we did shoot the video. It's all filmed. It's all beautiful, but we need more time to edit them. We want them to go up around the same time, Alex and I, and um, we're just not, I haven't even started editing it yet. And I want it to be good. So I don't want to just throw it together for you guys. So I figured I'd sit here really quick uh, and chat with you. It is Saturday for me. I've had a really kind of interesting day so far. Um, yesterday I went to Malibu Wines, which was so fun. Hello guys, I am currently at Malibu Wines and I'm so excited because I've been wanting to come here for so long. But I kind of like them, but I have four I like your hat. And no baseball. I like the cookies. He wants Marco. Yes, he does. I've seen the Lion King. I know. I mean, it's kind of wild because drank a bit though and so I woke up kind of hungover but not really. Got a video up on my main channel. It's my Miami vlog which is doing really well so far and I'm super excited because I really really like that video. Alex fully helped me with it and did an incredible job so yeah it's really good. Um, and then I did a live stream at like 1 p.m. today and that went really interesting. And I'm gonna vent here even though like I hate doing this because I hate giving the person, by the way, my bed is completely not made at all because I just took a nap and like literally rolled out of bed and was like, I should shoot a video now. So me and the bed, a mess. So I'm sorry, but what can we do? So I was on the live stream and I noticed a troll, what I thought was a troll, was being very mean in my live stream. Like mean meaning like saying really rude things, like racist things, cruel things, just things that are not cool at all and um then I realized that I knew who this person was because in the live stream they were like you know who I am and so I stared at it for a second to be like do I and then I saw the last name called my mom up because this is what the situation was this person in my life dated one of my family members and I'm not gonna like give you guys all the details because like maybe this person in my family doesn't want everyone to know that it's them or whatever so this person that was in my live stream being very mean dated one of my family members for a very short amount of time and we all knew was kind of off and kind of cruel and kind of strange but like in a verbally abusive way um via the internet so we were all like why is she like trolling us like <laughs> so anyways i um she was just when her and the person in my family broke up, it was even worse. But I haven't heard about this person for like two years. Um, and that per this person actually never really verbally abused me online. Um, but until today. Um, so uh, she was in the live stream saying things like, um, you're boring, you're um, selfish, you are, oh, go back to Venezuela. Um, you know, kind of things along those lines. Um, and so I looked at the name, the username, and it was her last name first. And I was like, oh, oh my God, I think I know who this is. So I called my mom and I'm like, mom, is this who I think it is? And I told her the story and my mom was like, oh my gosh, yes, that is who you think it is. Blah, blah, blah. Like got frustrated because she's my mom and like, you know, and I was like, just, I'll block them. It'll be fine. I have the hiccups or burp or something like that, but okay. Well, that, that, there you go. Um, I'm gonna take a sip of this. So I blocked the person and it was fine. But let me, like, this is, it's so crazy that like just this little tiny incident shook me up so much. Like you would think it would be something. And before I even knew who it was, I was shooken up by it. Because I was like, why is this person in here comment after their comment trying to like, tear me apart and tear me down and then I had this huge like epiphany afterwards because I think too much and I'm probably because I live alone I think too much so I just sit here and think about things <laughs> it's a problem um so I just like sat down on my bed and I was thinking about it and I was like god that was so hurtful like even before I knew that it was somebody that I knew like either way I don't really know the person so like it feels the same because I don't know her like, she dated somebody in my family for a brief amount of time, and we all knew she was kind of strange. Um, and we knew she was rude and cruel, and that was it. I 
was just sad afterwards and then I and then I stopped myself from being sad and I tried recognizing like how can someone who just wants to say whatever they want to you doesn't even know you doesn't even know who you are has never like touched your hand has never like had a connection with you has never anything how could someone like this like hurt you so much it's amazing how words are so so impactful to people and trolls of the internet and just people in general do not understand how impactful words are and especially like for me and I don't want to say like especially for me but like really especially for me because my love language car alarm is going off Welcome to Los Angeles. I took the five languages of love and my number one like biggest thing on the list, I think I got a like 10 on it, um, was words of affirmation and that was how I receive love. And it's been really interesting after knowing that my love language is words of affirmation, really like applying that to all aspects of my life and all relationships in my life. Um, and realizing that I get super affected by words and um, I need to be strong enough to not allow words to affect me as much as they do but then I also need to be gentle with myself and realize that like words are important to me and for the important relationships in my life like my boyfriend and friends and family um, I let that be known like if someone says something that uh, is hurtful to me then I'll say like words are like really important to me and I don't just because some people can say whatever they want to each other, like, especially in families, where they're just kind of like, you're a blah, 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 you do this, da, da, da. And, like, people can just, like, kind of still continue throughout life and not really think about what that person said and not take it too seriously. But, like, they affect me. Like, words affect me. They're, like, a big deal to me because it's how I receive love. So when I receive the opposite um, in words, uh, it really affects me. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is just be careful with words and what you say to people and I know that this is said over and over and over again but it really can't be said enough like no matter how put together you think a human being is like there's people that you go through life and you're like she's got it together uh, she may not have it as much together and so maybe you're gonna be more gentle with that person um, but really like at the end of the day, like, you should be treating every single person exactly the same. Why do we feel, and how does a person get to the point of, like, treating someone poorly like that and trying to tear them apart? And I wrote on my Puff and Boots Instagram account, yes, I have this, like, random Instagram account that's called Puff and Boots, and the description says Outdoor Adventures of Carrie Rowdy, because it's just, like, my... I don't know, random sharing more of my heart plus adventure outdoor stuff. Um, and I just wrote, this was me kind of talking to myself in the description on the, in the caption of this video. I said, or in the, in the caption of this picture, I said, stay patient, stay kind, stay strong. People will try to knock you down and throw you around in life. Don't let anyone break the rock that you've created within yourself. If you find peace and comfort deep within yourself, no one can tear you apart. And I came to that because I started thinking about the fact that I have created this strong rock within myself. And yes, I am strong and I am whole. And yes, people cannot tear me apart. But can they hurt me? Yes, they can hurt me. But at the end of the day, if I stay strong and I find peace within myself, no one can break me. No one can break me. And I guess that that's why I want to have this conversation with you guys because I want you to know that no one can break you unless you let them. It's so important to take every single day to try to build yourself and to try to make yourself as strong as possible so that you can conquer all of these situations. Because I know a lot of you guys are younger than me. I'm 28 years old, so I've experienced a lot of my early 20s and I know what people are like. No matter how nice you are to them, no matter how good of a person you try to be, people will try to bring you down no matter what, it doesn't matter. And there are relationships in my life now. There's like maybe one or two relationships in my life that are kind of at that point where you're like, 
is this person good for me? Does this person even care about me? And these are all things that you learn throughout life. And God, I'm 28 years old and I still don't have it all figured out yet. So when you guys ask me questions like this, I try to give you as much advice as I possibly can. But I'm still at the place in my life where I'm like trying to evaluate relationships and realize that like maybe this person doesn't want the best for me and how do you how do you handle a situation like that it's confusing and it's hard and my my whole mentality always is like just just be nice to everybody just you know blah, blah, blah. and that doesn't always solve the problem that's not always the best answer to everything that just kind of went everywhere but really at the end of the day all I'm telling you is that um work really, really hard to create a strong rock within yourself. Um, a strong rock of confidence, of love, of kindness, of patience, like build it every single day, work on it every single day. Because the older you get and the more you experience, the stronger this rock will get. And so people who try to break you down or people who don't want the best for you can't pull you apart and can't tear you apart. They can try, but you won't let them. My mind's kind of in two places. My mind is in toxic relationships within your life and then toxic people who try to just bring you down that don't even know you. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, the whole conclusion is just toxic people in general. will come and go. will come in and out of your life. And it's up to you to stay strong and stay patient and stay kind. And to just worry about you in those situations, protect you, and let it be. Don't, don't fight back. Like, just understand it for what it is and be like, all right, moving on. <laughs> so that's it. That is the end of this video. Sorry it was a bit rambly. Um, I will see you guys very soon in a new video. I'll see you next Sunday. Hopefully it'll be a camping video. If not, I'll have something else for you guys. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I love you a lot, and I hope you're having a really good day.